Hello again, I'm Martin Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 5670 512MB GDDR5 video card. What's included with the HIS HD 5670 video card is an installation guide, software and drivers, as well as a case badge. This video card has a PCI Express interface of 2.1 and it's based on the RV830 core which is built on the 40 nanometer manufacturing process and has 627 million transistors. The HIS IceQ cooler is a blower style cooler and a very impressive one for this class of video card. It has a plastic UV reactive top and the fan pulls in cool air, forces it across the heatsink and forces all the warm air outside the case. The heatsink is aluminum and has lots of fins. Also, the base plate comes in direct contact with the GPU, but it does not come in contact with the memory. There are three video connections, a DVI, VGA, and an HDMI connection, which fully supports 7.1 channel audio. Note that this video card does not require a power cable connection. The power consumption is 64 watts at maximum load and 15 watts at idle. Now while this is not a lot of wattage and it really doesn't require a high wattage power supply, a quality brand name power supply is recommended, especially in a multiple video card crossfire configuration. The core speed on this product is 775 megahertz and the 512 megabytes of GD DDR5 128 bit memory is 4 GHz DDR. It comes with 400 stream processing units for vertex, pixel, and geometry data, 20 texture units, and 8 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 6.2 gigapixels per second, the texture fill rate is 15.5 gigapixels per second, and the memory bandwidth is 64 gigabytes per second. This product has too many technologies to cover in detail in this video, but let me mention the main ones. It has TerraScale 2 unified processing architecture for physics. Image quality enhancement allows sharper scenes. Stream acceleration technology to run applications faster. Crossfire X multi-GPU technology allows dual, triple, and quad GPU scaling and PowerPlay power management technology, which enables low power consumption at idle. It also has Ifinity technology, which enables many displays to be connected at once. For example, three displays can be connected simultaneously, and each display can have a resolution up to 2560 by 1600, which is an incredible amount of desktop real estate. While the other technologies are impressive, DirectX 11 really stands out, especially amongst gamers. This image clearly shows the difference between DirectX 10 and DirectX 11. DirectX 11 allows more eye candy because it gives game developers the tools required to produce mind-blowing graphics, effects, and much more. Additionally, Avivo HD video and display technology enables superior quality and a high-definition visual experience. Since I'm using the release candidate drivers, I cannot manually adjust the speed of the fan. Even though there's an option for it here, when I make the change, it doesn't apply. Now, official drivers, of course, you will be able to do this and manually adjust the speed of the fan. This might not be the fastest video card on the planet, but if you are in the market for a budget video card that has all of the latest and greatest features and technologies and can play the latest games as well as upcoming DirectX 11 games, this might be the product for you. Overall, this is a great product. Until next time, take care.